Today I'm going to show you how to make a router pattern with a router pattern. Hi, I'm Ron Polk and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you'd like to get a set of plants to build a Smart Wood Shop or one of my workbenches for yourself, there's a link in the description down below. As my viewers know, I cut more wood with a router and a bushing than all of my other saws put together. I do that because it gives me that CNC level quality, but it gives me the flexibility and the portability that I need from a router. To cut a pattern, I want to make it very precise because I'm going to use it to make the same cut over and over again. So if I don't do it right, I'm going to get many copies of the wrong thing. Sometimes when, and most of the time when I make a pattern, I will use uh, my table saw, my track saw, uh, I'll use a drill and hole saw to make the pattern traditional tools. Occasionally though, I need to make some cuts that those tools just don't do very well. And this is a good example. First, I'm gonna take the time to lay everything out. And then I am going to take some scrap material, I'm gonna use half inch plywood, and I'm gonna create a temporary pattern. See how nice and accurate this is. I made this template up. There's an outside and an inside. And so I could make the cut one way and then come over and flip it and get the mirror image and everything is identical on both sides. I just took some scrap, half inch, and did a, took my time, did a good layout, and then did my math, figured out what I needed this to be. And then I was able to Take a few minutes and screw this, these little pieces and cut a few pieces, get it laid out right on my lines how I wanted it, assembled it, and then once that was done, then I could move it over to the other side and put it on the lines, clamp it down and make those cuts. And now I'm done with this. I, I don't need this anymore. I'll take it apart and throw the little pieces of wood in my, uh, in my recycle bin and uh, hang on to this. So if you've got a router and you haven't got a bushing for it yet, you know, five, six bucks, you get a bushing and you can do this kind of stuff and get stuff that looks like it was cut on the CNC machine, but you get to make the sawdust yourself. It's a lot more fun. And this project that I'm working on is really cool. It's, well, if you want to find out, you need to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure you ring the bell so you know when I put up a new video. Hey, thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.